I'm going to give an overview in this video of how to change the IP address allocated to your IP camera. So this can be particularly important if, um, on most setups, what will happen with if you're buying kits off us directly that are high watch, hick vision, it'll automatically allocate new IP addresses uh, sequentially to additional cameras. But if you're buying a standalone camera or trying to change it to work on a certain system, it's good to know how to be able to do this. So physically what we've done here is we've run a LAN cable from the laptop computer here directly over to our router and from our router we've run it to the IP camera, okay? So, um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to initially open the browser here, okay? And I'm going to come in along and I'm going to type here uh, 192 um, 168.1.64 and the reason I'm typing in that is that's the IP address that's allocated to all IP cameras from high watch and Higg vision okay so we just come along and we hit okay here now normally what will happen here is you get a screen and it'll say the password is admin can you come along and enter the pa a password and then save the password as well you're actually creating at that point so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to type in admin but, and the reason that I'm not going through that the, the screen I've just described to here is that I've already logged in to do this just to test this is going to work and it does. Okay. And the password I entered here was TV one, two, three, four, five, six. And the idea of the password is just prevent anybody just being able to go onto your network and log directly onto your camera. Or anybody who has access to your network going directly on. Okay? So what will happen here is it loads, and if I just put my hand over here, let's see, that's it, right? Uh, that's myself. So what we're going to do here is, so we now have it up and running, we have password protected on the thing, and what we want to do is we actually want to change it to a different IP address. So we go in here to configuration, and we'll see all the settings that we listed on the screen for it, um, including, uh, we'll say, the IP address here, and what we'll do here is we just click on networks here. And it brings up that screen, which we see here. And if we come along here, we will just click a backspace and I'll change it in this case to 12. Okay. And I'm going to save. So I'm actually changing the IP address. So I'm logged in to the camera itself and I click save here now. So um, do you want to reboot the unit and say, and when it says the unit, it means the camera itself, okay? Now this is gonna take forever because um, this laptop is not a great laptop anyway. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna more effectively bypass this by being able to come along here. And what we'll do is we will um, just go in directly and type in the new IP address. So I'm just gonna go back here. And it might take a few efforts here because the camera is turning off, turning back on, and it's realigning itself to say it has a new uh, IP address. And um, what we'll do here is just waiting, it's just connecting in. So uh, this might take maybe 60 seconds before this will work for us here. But the basic the idea of it is, once a picture pops up on the screen, you'll see that we successfully have changed the IP address of the camera and we successfully log back in. The, the username and the password that we had previously to this uh, will um, be successful, okay? And uh, I'll just do this here again. I'll just go all the way back. And I'll just go return. One moment. Just one more time, I'm going to try it here. And I'll just come along here, seeing the camera here. I'm just going to log in again with our password. So it's uh, admin. In, and our password again is TV, uh, TV, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just log in. And I'll give you the back of my hand this time. Okay, anyway, there we are. 
so that's it basically. So we've changed the IP address successfully. So hopefully people will find that a helpful informative video.